Okay, welcome everybody. Uh, today we've got something pretty exciting, pretty special. We're going to be talking about the new Photoshop beta. Uh, this is generative AI. So the idea here is that you can use artificial intelligence to modify your pictures, to change it in some way. You can add things, you can take things away. We're going to hopefully be doing a little bit of everything so I can show you how to do it and how you can use it as an artist to help inspire you for your paintings. So we're going to start off today with this amazing uh, painting from 1620, I believe. This is uh, Jacob Jordan's. Uh, this is the Seder and the Farmer's Family. So you can see the Seder here. Uh, this a sort of mythical creature, a half man, half goat, up to no good, uh, as always. And he's come into this farmhouse. He's talking to the farmer and you can see various members and animals. First thing I want to do is add some more canvas. So let's go, um, what do we have? 16 inches wide. Let's, let's increase that by about, let's say four inches on both sides. Uh, that looks good. Okay. And now we're going to select both of those sides and you see I have this option here now that I've selected something generative fill and when I click this generative fill I'm given this pop-up window here and you can see this says describe what you'd like to generate or feel free to leave the bl this blank okay so uh, basically two options the first one I can type something what do I want to put in here I can I can type uh, you know horse for example, and the AI will do its best to generate a horse. Or I can leave it blank and then it's just whatever it decides based on what it sees. I don't exactly know what it sees, so let's find out. I'm going to leave it blank for this first time around. Click generate and you can see it is here generating. Now it's going to generate three variations and I'll be able to click through those, choose the best one, and if there isn't a good one then uh, you know I can just do the whole thing again. And they're experiencing high demand. Uh, amazing. So that, uh, okay. This is in beta, so there are always going to be uh, difficulties as they work out some of these bugs. That's the first time I've had that. I've, uh, I've been playing around with this for a little while, three hours or so. Okay, here we go. Um, interesting, interesting. So you can see that this, uh, this cow Let's have a closer look. I've kind of brought the cow over, included another little guy over here on this side. That's pretty cool. And then what's going on in this side? Not much. Looks like the AI has taken this chair and kind of added another chair. So a pretty fair start, I would say. This is really successful. I love this side. Don't love this side so much. This is kind of distracting. Let's see what else is going on here in the second variation. To chop the cow right off but this little character down here uh, seems to be filled in nicely um, this is just sort of distracting okay uh, yeah I don't mind this side at all this is a little strange let's stick with this one and for the next part let's go with uh, I'm gonna take this Seder if I chop off that arm and let's see all the way down there I'm gonna leave a bit of this chair leave that arm and let's see if the AI can incorporate a different character here generative fill generate what might happen is the uh, AI might just look at this character and then give that person a body don't know yeah just completely gotten got rid of that person so this hand now kind of belongs to this person and that's interesting and you can see the chair has been filled in nicely this wasn't there before okay love that we have this big blank space now let's try um, if I just cut around 
very crudely. Obviously, you're going to want to take your time with this kind of thing. I'm just going to cut right around this person. Um, so let's use the description uh, option here. Let's go for uh, angel wings. So AI can either add an angel behind this character or uh, give this character wings. It'll be up to uh, how the computer interprets this command. So angel wings is what I've asked for. Okay, this just seems like there's a, a kind of an angel here with wings not associated with this character at all. And that's just straight wings on that one too. They don't really go with the... Uh, I'm going to delete that. They don't really go. Didn't love that. So let's try this again. Go right around and generative fill angel. Put a full angel back there. So you can see that you when you use this AI tool, you use you, you have a starting point and you can allow the narrative to start to, to develop. You know, we've gotten rid of the Seder, we put something else in there. This is pretty cool. You can you, you notice that the the faces um, that they generate tend to be face-like. Not exactly um, photorealism, but maybe that's because I'm dealing with a painting as my starting point. I like this one the, uh, the most, so let's stick with that. And um, let's see, we can put something else down here. What is a farm house if it doesn't have rats? I'm looking for things like its ability to pick up on the colors and interpret the uh, the rest of the painting. How well can it blend in with what is already there? This line is slightly distracting, so that's a pretty good, pretty good rat. And uh, what is going on down here? This is this is this is really cool. So you got another rat here, and you can see it's kind of been tucked in under that dog. Love that. I'm not going to keep that one. This is cool too. It's just underneath, also sniffing at what that dog's sniffing at. I like this weird kind of rat down here. Um, yeah, I think the overall tone is slightly macabre, slightly um, dark. I would say. Uh, let's just go for something even r stranger. I'm going to chop all of these people. I'm going to take away half of their heads. And uh, this will be the last one. Uh, and then we'll leave it there. So you, I think, and uh, I have a, a sense of what this program can do. Use it as inspiration. Use it to tell stories, to help you tell stories. And then what I would do is I would go away and maybe print this off. Uh, use it as a reference image. You can uh, take this any number of ways. Let's have a, another look at those faces. Yeah, it's kind of wild, right? They're not, um, they're not exactly what you'd think about when you think about uh, a beautiful face. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call these beautiful uh, but they are interesting they're really interesting i like the look of it uh, i think this would make for a, a really cool painting so there are all kinds of concerns and questions about uh, who the artist is and what, what is the role of the artist here but uh, that's going to be it i'm going to leave it there i hope you've enjoyed this and uh, this little look into photoshop's new generative AI. And that's going to be it for today. We'll see you in the next one.